What is going on in your life? Put a smile on your face and take it to the Lord in prayer. One to go. Fastly approaching nine o'clock. Up next, Raj Family Sex Explosion. But before we do that, we have a Robert Nesta, Wally. All right, we leave you with this one. Raj Artis. <laughs> okay, people. As we always say, live the life you love, love the life you live. The good things you do will follow you, the bad things you do will run you down. So, people, please do the good. On behalf of my selector Wally, I'm Nine Miles International, wishing you a great weekend and a very industrious week ahead. Keep it strong, keep it positive. Fire Friday's team, we're out. And he was taken from Africa. Fishing during the program. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have a boat, uh, that's uh, not our fault. That's not our fault. Yeah, that's not our fault. 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 That's not our fault
I feel you using white net in the night. This happened to you. You don't. You talking about God, but you are a rascal. I talking about God, but you are a rascal. Yeah, you just say. I don't understand. You was talking just now. No, you was talking about him on the mic. You supposed to think Salasi. I'm just Salasi. Salasi is God. Yeah. You come down a tight bucket or what? No, a tight bucket. How you come inside? Come Salasi is God. How come he's not? God's a rascal. What's the name of your God? God's a I's a Hindu. Well, never ask me. What's the name of your God? In his name so long, I can't even announce it. But that's why I know you're born in truth. But that's why I know you're born in truth. I know you're born in truth. I know you're born in truth. I'm going to tell the priest tomorrow for that last time. You're going to tell the priest tomorrow for that last time. You're going to tell the priest tomorrow. Nah, we don't have a priest. Hey, but we have phones. Yeah, yeah. I did. I still have the phone. No, no, I find phone. I find the phone. It's with different vibes. That is your phone? Yeah, mine. I find you looking real phone here, no? True. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Right. Bye, nice. These are good so They are not too I don't want like you so much. Which one is that? I don't know. Never. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. You're you good. Stop taking your religion. Use your own. Nah, you're good, brother. You're Use good, your brother. Own. Like good, brother. Your identity comes. Yeah. I go in and um, I know you need like to shake them when I know that you have the good day. You need to shake that, you need to shake that. What's that? You feel like I'm by the army. You need to shake that. I was by the square. No, I gave him a bounce. How come you shake that? This is different. You see what my son? Eh? He's a good brother. He's a good brother. Family for that of course. Yeah. With your favorite international, regional, and TNT superstars, you never know who's dropping by. So tune in to the only reggae radio show on Friday nights. Radio you can watch. Power 102 empowering you. <laughs> Wednesdays and Fridays from 9 p.m. on Power 102 empowering you. With the doctor of sex, Dr. Raj. Hi, this is Dr. Raj. I am on Power 102 with sex exposure and the angel. Be excited once again. Yeah, put one on top here. Wednesdays and Fridays from 9 p.m. on Power yeah. 102. Positive. Got two other ones on this. Thing here with us in Power the point one FM and uh, very special thanks as always to Nine Miles International, also to Wally, mm -mm, keeping us company for the last couple of hours. Well, taking what time is now seven minutes after nine o'clock, and we do welcome you to Saint Explosion on Power the two point one FM with your host Dr. Raj Ramnanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center out at St. Augustine and uh, there he treats all sexual dysfunctions. And a very special good evening to you my big brother family. How are you going today? You look fresh man. A pleasant good evening to you and to all yeah. the listeners out there, mm -hmm. all the viewers on social media and yeah. on www.power102fm.com mm. and also our app mm -hmm. for What's those that? of you on our app. Mm -hmm. I'm not seeing a lot of people responding from the app you know. And of course, I sent out a broadcast this afternoon, and I, yeah. someone asked me what was the topic tonight. So I said, "Give us a topic." We taking that or? Yeah, take it. If, no. if, if you're really cool, no. let me hear what it is. We don't we'll know if you cut it off or not. Hi, hello, and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so um, you know, 
It's interesting when you are a sexologist are doing something unique as sexology in Trinidad, sex therapy and sexual consultation for the last 20 years. The kind of impact you have on people, the things that are disseminated through the program or meeting with people and even the, the wide expanse of um, listeners we have out there. And sometimes it, it boggles my mind and it's sometimes it's very surprising when I meet people in different places who have heard about the program, who listened to the program when they were younger, who were impacted by the program. You know, while sometimes while you're you're just chatting with someone, you don't you don't really tell them anything about yourself and when they ask the question and you answer them, they're like, No, you can't be. You're not that guy I've been listening to for the last ten years. And it's like, okay. Um, it, it, it touches you in a different way because you don't set out to find out that information and when somebody tells you something like that it, it really makes you stop and think how many persons life we have impacted over the last 18, 17 going on 18 years you know I have a friend over in Florida and he um, he tunes in from time to time on the program he's actually from India mm -hmm. and you know he says that when he listens to the program, he likes to listen to the commentary, of course, in Trinidad language. Of, he likes the Trinidad language, he likes to hear it. And it's amazing sometimes the things that happen in Trinidad, it's reported in other news in the world. And he was telling me about some story that he heard about Trinidad and it was actually on the end news program. And I told him, I said, you know, I was, I was giving him some insight into the story because I know someone who was directly involved in that, in that story. So he, he, you know, he had he had this interest in what's what's going on. But he said, you know, when I tune into your program and I come on Facebook or or wherever I listen to the program and I listen to the commentary people make and the, the questions that people ask, he gets information from that. So I said, well, you know, sometimes you must throw us a question or two, ask mm -hmm. us something something that's relevant to you or maybe even a piece of information that you want or you need. And this is how I believe. No matter how educated you are. If you don't impart knowledge and you die with the knowledge within you, you have wasted your life. Oh, yeah. okay. I honestly believe that. I think that persons should always share what they know and let persons take it and do whatever they want. But anything that you know, anything that is your God-given talent, anything that um, you have learned through the years and whatnot, I, I say it openly. So last night coming back on a flight, there was this guy sitting in front of me. And when we were coming off the plane, we made, he made a comment about something. And we, we engaged in a conversation. And the conversation lasted until we reached immigration. Ended there. Then it so happened that one of the other guys made a comment that, you know, we're leaving here early tonight. I said, no way, because mm -hmm. there's a flight between, before us. And the airport authority don't hire people to clear two flights at the same time. So he said, you sure about that? I said, yeah, yeah you'll see. So, of course, we had to stand up there for another half an hour to an hour just to wait on our baggage because they had to clear the first flight and then our flight. And the guy came and we were talking again. And in conversation, um, we were talking about sports because he's heavily involved in the CPL. Mm -hmm. So he asked me, what is my opinion about the CPL? I said, I love it. You know, I love cricket and anything to promote cricket and anything that is going to make cricket, cricket as rich and make it a better, uh, a much widely accepted sport. I'm all for it. So we're talking and then he asked me what I did and I, when I told him, he said, wait a minute. You know, my wife and I, we've been listening to you for years. We used to sit and listen to that program. She'd say, show you that guy? I said, yeah. Uh, when I gave him my card, he still was in doubt. You know, he, was, he said, let me take out a picture with you too. I can show my wife. I said, no problem. And he was, now he's very big in the, in the um, corporate world. He lives in Houston, actually. He was, a matter of fact, we were making a joke. That's how the conversation started. About, you know, the, the suitcase that we travel with and why it is we had to go and clear luggage because his wife sent him a list and my wife sent me a list the night before. Mm -hmm. So we had to go and buy a suitcase and fill it and, and bring it. I, I normally don't travel with suitcase. I travel with my hand luggage. He said, I have everything in this hand luggage, you know, five shirts and that's it. I don't need anything else, mm -hmm. you know. So travelers, who, people who travel off, they know about that. We don't travel with suitcase. We don't ever travel with suitcase. So I had to go and buy a suitcase to bring back what my wife wanted. So, of course, I had to go to um, customs, and the lady at customs was very nice, I must say that. And, well, I, know, I normally don't have problems in customs or immigration, because I will declare everything and go on whatever they want to do, you do, because that's your job. So, um, and I hear people making sly remarks and whatnot, but um, 
people have to do their work and let them do their work. The only thing I don't like is, you know, in Trinidad, I, I was listening to a program this evening and a, a lady was saying that there's this street that it turned into a, no, a one-way street. And she said for all her life, she lived on that street and it was never a one-way. But since they turned it into a one-way, there are police hiding on the street to charge people. Mm -hmm. But that's what police do. They try to catch in something with, instead of informing you and saying, hey, what? This is a one-way street now. You're no longer allowed to turn into this street. No, they want to catch you. And that's a wrong thing to do because we are a capture society. We like to catch people in things. Well, it's the same thing that happened on Tragerbeet Road, at the corner of Tragerbeet Road and French Street. Mm -hmm. That was a two-way. Yeah, that's, a, that, that, but the that's no longer two-way? No, of course not. That, well, that guy standing up there for tickets. But they're wicked. That's mm -hmm. pure wickedness. That's a one-way. But it's wicked. That's what I'm saying. It's wicked. Mm -hmm. Because for years, you're accustomed to do You see a brain. Sometimes the sign is there, but your brain knows that there's a two-way street. So you will turn into it. Yeah, you bring program. Right? Yeah, you bring, and, and they must understand that. Or it will take a couple of years of persons doing that all the time and before they could actually change mm -hmm. their mindset. So somebody should be there warning them, please don't turn into the streets. It's a one-way now. Don't, don't try to cut somebody to give them a ticket. Mm -hmm. It's wrong. Somebody genuinely breaking the law, that's that. But anyway, that's another, that's about another program. So um, we were talking and, and, you know, he was talking about the impact that the program had on his life and the life-changing information that we give about things on this program, not only about sex, but education on the whole, which is what I cherish. I think that no matter how much information you have within you, you should share that information. I share information about country, about cricket, about sports on the whole, about training, life, love, meaningful relationship, animosity, everything. We talk about everything on the program because it's all tied in with making a holistic person. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know, one of the things I, I tend to dislike when in, in a reception is when, you know, a person will be giving advice and say, you know, don't ever go to bed vexed with your partner. Mm -hmm. And I look, I sometimes look at the person who's saying that and I wonder if that person ever practiced that. Mm -hmm. Because when you vex, you vex. When you vex, you vex. You vex. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who you vex with. If you vex with your spouse, if you vex with your children, if you vex with your brother, brother you are going to go to bed vex. Yeah. But mm -hmm. do not let vexation rule your world. Mm -hmm. That I think is the better thing to say because you will be so angry with your spouse that you want to punish him or her that you are going to go to bed vex. Mm -hmm. That is okay. natural human behavior. And we must understand that. You may try your best not to show that you're vex, but you're damn vex. Mm -hmm. So even if you say, sorry, I didn't mean what I said, you're still vex inside. Yeah, yeah the original, you're vex. You're vex. Mm -hmm. And we know vexation, what that could do. So when persons say those things, I wonder if they practice what they preach. Now, if you go to bed vex, wake up vex, and continue with that animosity within you, it's going to fester into a sore, and it's going to get worse. So what you try to do is to engage in conversation and try to reduce that vexation, excuse me, reduce the vexation, and try to come to terms with whatever is wrong. You know, for years, people have gone through life with being at odds with their spouse, with their brother, their sister, their father their mother i you talking to this one and i talking to that one that is something that i really think that people should not do because when you carry around that kind of baggage what you're going to do is you're going to make yourself into a bitter person mm. the animosity within you is going to grow it's going to fester and it's going to transcend beyond the person and go on to someone else or something else so even though you may have a level of vexation with your with your partner you should try to resolve that as soon as possible so you could go on without being a negative person without having that acidity within you because it's not a nice thing to have that it's like a cancer within you eating mm -hmm. away at you every time you think about the person only think about how i go kill him or how i kill her or, or what i could do to hurt this person as opposed to i hope he's okay now. i hope she's okay that's what I think that individuals must be able to attain. When you reach that level of understanding, it's up to you now to start saying, here what, I hope that person is okay. I really wish well for that person. We may not be speaking, and I think he has done wrong or she has done wrong, and I have done wrong also because 
uh, it definitely ain't a right and a wrong that's going to end up there. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And I just hope and I pray that that person is okay. Mm -hmm. And hopefully that person will come to terms with whatever they have done wrong. And at some point in their life, they're going to realize what they have done wrong. Because believe me, no matter what you have done or how right you feel when you have done something, when that time comes, you're going to realize that you have done wrong. You, know? you don't need to leave this world to be judged and be told that you did something wrong. You, know? you will come to that realization as long as you have that brain within your head. You are going to come to that realization that you have done something wrong. That's why a lot of relationships go down the drain. And even when the person realizes they have done something wrong, or they come, they, 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 they just don't know how to approach it and how to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. So that's why when I meet people, there was a young man who sent me a message yesterday. And it, I wish I had it, you know. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm sure he's listening tonight. Tyrone, if you're listening, re please resend the two messages you sent for me yesterday. I think it was very profound. Um, for some reason, I think I erased it. And, um, oh, no, it was sent to another... Um, another phone so I don't have it here so um, you know when persons tell you things about w the impact you have had in their lives and one of the things I, 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 I want people to understand is that I don't consider myself to be important I consider the people I associate with to be important because I'll give you an example there are many persons out there in Radio Land who listens to you and listen to your program and whatnot, and they will wish they could know you they could know Junior Salden, and I have the privilege of knowing Junior Salden. And that is what makes me a better person, that I have had friends, genuine friends throughout my life, and I have built friendship throughout my life that is everlasting. So the importance here is not me. The importance here is the other person, and this is how I look at life. The same thing with when a person is a fan of the program and they make a positive comment or they a commentary on the program that person is as, in, as important or even more important than me coming to do the program the reason being is i have the privilege of having that person as a fan of my program so it's not about me anymore it is about the person there are many individuals in my life who have had the privilege of befriending you know, or be, becoming um, my friend simply because of who i am because of my personality, I'm not talking about because I am Raj the sex doctor. Because of my personality, mm -hmm. yes. I have been able to approach an individual. I, even recently on the flight going and coming, there was, there, there, there was a minister who everybody thought he was somebody you couldn't approach. And he was sitting next to me and I told my wife, I said, he's a real jolly fella. And I was complimenting him on something that he did last week. And he said, you know, that's the first time I've ever done something like that. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay. I said, well, thank God it was on my radio station. Mm -hmm. And, and we had a very good conversation going. And even at the end, you know, when he found out what I did, he, he said, do you think I need your service? I said, everybody needs my service, whether they want to admit it or not. He, Sometime said, the end, he said, that's a good, good, that's a good answer. Mm -hmm. But the point being is because of who I am, I am able to, to attach or get become attached to persons like that. But I think the privilege is mine that I could have such and such friends, even some of the people I interact with, mm -hmm. due to, because of the program. And because of the program, I've been able to interact with certain people. Again, they are the ones who promote this program. We can have an idea. I mean, there are surveys that are done twice for the year. Um, Here's the, um, what was that? Sir? The MFO, MFO service, yeah. survey. And they would have an idea of how much people listen to the program. But it's not a true, true reflection because it's much more than what they do. So we may think it's 70,000 people and it might be 90 or 100,000 people. And it may not be just 100,000 people here. It may be all over, all over the Caribbean and all over the world. We don't know, except those who send us a message and say, I am tuned into the program. That's why I think it's very important that when we have listenership out there and we have a program, that persons at least say hi or let us know that they're listening to the program or viewing the program. Yes, well, at least you will know, I mean, where they're coming from and we know the vast majority of places that these people are listening to the program. And it's also important when they interact with the program because, you know, Junior, sometimes 
I, I was telling a friend this morning that things I take for granted, like for example, if I tell somebody I'm going away, mm -hmm. I think I don't have to tell them anything more because in my mind, I think everybody knows that flights is leave in the morning, generally, to go to the United States. So, so when somebody asks me what time you're leaving, I'm like, what? That's a stupid question. What well, flights is leave in the morning? In my mind, eh? But I see the angel, they are shaking their head. Right. Oh, okay. But because I am so accustomed to these things and it's normal for me, mm -hmm. I take it for granted. Same thing with sex. When I talk about sex, you know, people say, boy, you don't put water in your mouth to say nothing. I think it's normal. Honestly, I in my brain, that is normal, everyday conversation. But the thing about it is because you involve. What's the sex when your brain says you? Hmm? What, right? Ten? Eleven? No, but you're making a joke out of it, but I'm very serious about this. In my opinion, mm -hmm. when you are comfortable with something, it becomes automatic. It becomes normal. It becomes the norm. So, I am sometimes baffled by individual, and I'll, I'll tell you one of the things uh, that had me checking back on myself. When, in 2003, 2002, 2003, when we started to talk about anal intercourse and whatnot, mm -hmm. Marcel Mahabir met me at a, a function, and he said, Raj, you brave, you know. You see, but I'll tell you something. The topic, of the conversation that you brought up is the topic of conversation in all circles. But for years I've been speaking about that. I've been given instructions and if I, I wrote a book on it and whatnot. And only because of what is happening presently. Mm -hmm. You know, it dawned on me that all this time I never, I, I did not tell people, you know, that is illegal to do that. <laughs> I think we did a program we once or program. twice on that, but I mean, because it's automatic for me, it's no big deal for me. So I guess the guy who lights up a marijuana stick, the coolest head, it's normal for him. It's just a normal thing for him to do. Now, my job as a sexologist or, or, or a, a professional on the radio is to convey to that person the ills of doing something like that, what it could do to your sex life, what it could do to you. And I think for human beings, anything that impacts on their sex life, mm -hmm. they would pay more attention to it because I know for a fact that the good Lord made our sex life our alarm bell. I know that for a fact. Mm. And I'll tell you how I know that. Anything that is going wrong in your body, anything, even the common cold, the first thing that is affected is your sex drive. Well, yeah. If you have a headache, uh -huh. the first thing that is affected is your sex drive. Mm -hmm. That is your alarm bell to tell you something is wrong. wrong. Anytime your sex drive, your libido, mm -hmm. your feelings for sex goes down, it is telling you something else is going wrong. Because you know why? The good Lord knew that we would pay more attention to our sex life than to our diet, our religion, our creed, our race, our place of birth, anything, sex comes first. Hmm. Hear that, ladies? Your sex drive will come first because that is the one you will pay most attention to. Any man will tell you, boy, you could chop off my foot, but don't let me lose the ability to have sex now. Because I hear it all the time. I know there are individuals out there who will deny it, but I'm giving you information based on the thousands of persons I've treated over the last 15, 20 years, what they've been telling me. And there are men who are living without their sex life, and they feel that they're just existing, they're no longer is living. But I'll tell you one of the things that spices up your sex life, the right sex partner. Mm -hmm. If you have the right partner to do the things that you want to do sexually, you are going to excel at whatever you're doing. And that's a fact. But if you don't have the right sex partner, if you don't have that person that turns you on or encourages you or causes you to have that feelings of 
of euphoria when you are actually engaging any type of sexual relationship with the person. Mm -hmm. yeah. You are just going through the motion <clears throat> of wanting to have sex, having sex, and getting satisfaction. But at the end of the satisfaction, are you truly satisfied? Can you rock back an hour after and say, oh, God, boy, that, that was, was good, really, boy. That was a real good session. That was you know? real good. <laughs> I wish I could have that again. Yeah. And the first time I came full time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And yeah. you start looking at yeah. all the positive. Well, you know, boy, that position that we were in, it was so sweet. And, and the kiss, boy, oh, God. And, yeah, boy. and looking in the person's eyes and what seeing the know? eyes roll back. And yeah. all these things are going through your mind and you're playing it over and over. A day down the line and you're still there basking in the, yeah. the beauty of the sex. Mm -hmm. And if it's like, yeah. yeah. And, you want, and the, the next thing you're going to be doing is thinking about the person and sex. I would like to be with the person again and I would like to feel that person on me. I would like to be on the person. I would like to feel that person making love to me. I would like to hear the person's voice because of what it does to you internally. And many a times we have had the opportunity to have sex. But it's just having sex to, as I say, Lego water. And that's it. You don't really feel that level of satisfaction. That deep sense of satisfaction that you get from a, a really good sexual session, session. There's nothing to compare with that, you know. You could eat the best food. I know some people will disagree with it. <laughs> you could eat the best food. You wouldn't get that feeling. You could bring the most expensive or bring the, the best liquor. You would not get that feeling. You could smoke the best joint, the top grade weed. You will not get that sensation. You could use whatever drugs you want. You will not get that sensation. That sensation of doing the things that you want to do sexually yeah. and accomplishing that with the right person, it's mind boggling and mind blowing. And it's sad to say that there are so many thousands of men and women out there who have not experienced that. You're married and you have not experienced it. You have found a partner and you have not experienced it. You have a boyfriend and you have not experienced it. You have a girlfriend and you have not experienced it. Because the person that you're with is not attuned to your wants and needs. And so too are you. You're not attuned to the person's wants and needs. Therefore, you are going to mess up and you're not going to get that level of satisfaction. I'm not saying that if you're with somebody, you go and try somebody else to get it, you know. I'm just saying it's unfortunate that you're with somebody that you're not going to get that from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you may never know what that level of bliss may be. Because there's a level of nirvana, a level of bliss that you get from sexual intercourse that is incomparable. There's nothing to compare to that. And the mere fact that you are with this person and you've made love and two minutes after you could just put that person in a position and just go down on them or, 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 or penetrate or do whatever, that shows you the level of feelings that you get for, for that person and from that person. Hmm. And it's not an easy feeling to replicate. But you know how you could repl replicate it? How we do that? If you're with the person again. Okay, yeah. Okay, the second time around then. Whether it be the second time you're wrong or two days down the line or a mm -hmm. week down the line or whatever. But when you are with that person again, you get that level of satisfaction that you don't usually get from anyone else. So, it's an addiction. The brain, the same way we are talking about addiction in the forms yeah. of using drugs and whatnot. You could be addicted to a person, you know, sexually. Mm. Yeah, once you get that right fit and that right feeling, you are going to be so attuned to that person that you will want to be with that person again and again and again and again and again. Hmm. You now have to manage that in a way that you don't lose out on that feeling. You don't lose out on what it does for you because it's like eating chocolate. You know, you can equate sex with chocolate many times around because of the release of dopamine from the brain when you eat chocolate or when you have sex. So a good piece of chocolate. Let me say you eat an ordinary piece of chocolate, not calling any name. You will feel and taste that chocolate and you say, yeah, boy, that thing tastes nice. But you might taste more sugar than chocolate. Milk, Milk chocolate, whatever. And you buy another type of chocolate, a higher grade of chocolate that have more cocoa mm -hmm. than sugar. And you get a different sensation, but it's a more amplified sensation. 
and as yeah like yeah and as you go and more and more into buying chocolate or using chocolate you'll realize what wait a minute this brand tastes better mm. this brand sweeter this brand but what it doing to your brain no there are persons out there who don't eat chocolate just as there are persons out there who don't have sex no it might sound strange but mm. they don't know how to equate that they don't know how to equate that they don't know how to equate chocolate and sex sex and chocolate my good friend Derek Espinoza is on my classmate from 74 to 79 northeastern <laughs> college <Not Eastern. laughs> so when you have that intensity when you have that, that intensity within you and you have felt that you will know what that equation means to you how to equate one with the other mm -hmm. so it's like enjoying all these different type of chocolates and then you get a, a piece of real trinidad cocoa and somebody make it into a nice chocolate tea and you sit back and you enjoy that cup of chocolate tea and there's nothing in the world that tastes like that i was telling my friend lucy this at the swap shop who works for raj um that that taste mm -hmm. you cannot describe that taste there's no description mm -hmm. of that mm -hmm. taste when that hot chocolate locally made chocolate mm -hmm. that is done properly grated properly boiled properly and you drink that it's it, it's just mind-boggling i'm not a chocolate person so uh, so i really don't know the taste that you're speaking about but. and when you equate that with mm -hmm. making love to someone each time you make love to that person you are becoming more and more used to the person knowing that there, there, there's always there's always a rhythm to a person and in sex you got to find the rhythm of the individual the rhythm comes about from the way the person touches you the way the person kisses you the way the person looks at you i'm not just talking about the movement of the body there's a rhythm to a person when it comes to sexual interaction once you could find the rhythm of that individual and fine tune your rhythm to that person yeah. sex is much sweeter but how do you do that if you're not aware how do you do that you're going to be lost what the hell dr raj talk about rhythm me i find she does wine nice mm -hmm. it's not the wine it's how the conversation prior to the wine how she looks at you the eye contact that you get from the individual the feelings that you get from the person when the person looks at you what do you feel how do you feel it is it something you feel in the pit of your stomach your heart your head your genitalia where do you feel it and when that person holds you how do you feel in that person's arms and how do you feel holding that person A lot of time we don't go through that in life so we don't know can you hold your spouse and just feel as though you don't ever want to let this person go now, i know there are thousands of men out there women or men out there who have done this and they know what i'm talking about but i feel i feel it for those who don't know what i'm talking about because there's no sweeter feeling than that there's none nothing to describe that it's like to me it is like spirituality that sense of spirituality that you get when you go to a church yeah. a temple or a mosque and you're listening to the word of the lord and you just feel as though you are transformed and transcending into a different height mm. and here you are holding your partner and you're feeling that same sense of wonder you see feeling that same sense of beauty you're feeling that same sense of belonging and embracing i don't want to say owning yeah, no. a lot of people like to own but you can't own so when you feel that mm -hmm. you are able to better identify with it and express yourself i know you mm -hmm. want to take a break yes anyway folks taking what time is now 23 minutes before 10 o'clock you are on the inside of yeah. sex explosion <laughs> on power to 2.1 fm with the sexologists and the guru of sex education dr raj ramdanan of st augustine and uh, that's at the therapy center and total image 
Well, I'll tell you what we are going to do is uh, take a break and we'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. Facebook page. Pull, pull it up and call all the names of people and just say hello to them. Previous comments. All the comments. Let's keep doing view, view previous comments. Pull it up here.
Say hello to them, good night, and re you can read what they're coming to. Well, thank you for staying here with us on radio. You can watch Power Two Point One FM. You are on the inside of Sexplosion, Trinidad and Tobago number one nighttime program with your host, Dr. Raj Ramdenen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center out at St. Augustine. Now, here is where we give you the opportunity to interact with Dr. Raj. Feel free. Your lines are open. Two 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 eight two five five. Also at six one two eight two five five. If you do decide that you want to send him a WhatsApp or a text or message, you can also do that on his private mobile, 740-1961. Nobody does better what we do best when it comes to nighttime radio. Mm -hmm. yeah. Junior, before you go, Junior, I want to read something here. You know, I haven't heard from this person for a long time. Vindel, Kami and Shiva locked on from downtown to Toronto. This serene Friday evening, keep up the excellent work, empowering sweet TNT. Thanks, Dr. Raj. Agree, no drugs can replicate sex. Um, the angel is going to heal out some of the persons who have been saying hello to us. Good night to Mark Anthony. Glad to see you. He says it's his number one show on the radio. Let's take okay, this call. We have a call on the line here. Uh, hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Hello. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. How are you doing? Fine, how are you? Hello. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes, we are. Hey, Raj. Doing it for the radio. Raj, how are you doing? I'm fine, how are you? Just the 87 man, 87 me as man, boy. Lutzman? Huh? From Shagwanas? That's right. So how are you doing? I'm good. 87 years old, you know, and he don't miss this program. 87? I don't miss it. And he says, he went to his doctor, and the doctor wanted to know what have him so looking, feeling so healthy. Mm -hmm. uh, he took no. the advice, no? No. no? The uh, mixture we gave him. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll tell you, let me, let me give you a call tonight. I appreciate that very much, just as I appreciate yeah. you calling me and telling me about because, it. No, please. But, um, as I say again, all my children get big, my, my grandson, them get big ass, um, six, um, one is seven, seven great grand, and what have you? Seven great grand? Yeah. Wow. And within all of them, one girl in a set. And that is what you hear I want to live for now. Okay? Yeah, yeah. We listening? You see, because normally that all of them, my grandson, them they big they they, they make big thing, eh? They are their own, own house and what have you. But I do not live by my daughter home. I live in my my other house. Uh -huh. Because the reason why for that is it's because you see, I do not want to get mixed up with them in their affair. But I, I show them, I teach them how to live and what have you. So, you see, I say, no, 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 no. Life must be living in such a way that you must not depend on anybody. Look for your own. Right, but. Simple as that. But what we want to know is how the program has impacted on your life. Very good, boy. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good. Well, I was, I, I was, I was pleasantly surprised when you called me and told me those things. Yeah. You see, because no, you see, I tell you, huh? Life made up in such a nice way that human beings cannot describe it. And I will tell you that your program has set me up in such a nice way 
that I don't miss this program. Uh -huh. I mean, I, you know, Wednesday night program, when I turn on uh, and I hear Ruben say the song, there's no program when I turn on. You mean Junior? Yeah, Junior. Uh, you know, I wasn't, and I just turned off your again when I, and, and sleep. <laughs> anyway, so that's a very nice thing. A, a very good program, eh? Thank you very much. Yeah, we appreciate it. And you know, it's it, it good to see that at his age, you know, he's still active. Mm -hmm. I see my other good friend Derek Tony is on. Mm -hmm. And somebody says they was going to ask me that question just a while ago because they had a bad two take and they lost their sex drive. Mm -hmm. A two take? Yes. No, no, if you have a two it take. impacts. Mm -hmm. Anything that impacts the nervous system, the circulatory system, or the endocrine yeah, system, it, will have, it will have that effect. Yes, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Saying goodnight to Diane on the bus. Yeah, that's my beautiful cousin. Uh, Rudolf Singh. Yeah, Rudolf Singh is one of my classmates from Northeastern College also. Another call? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. Okay, we go back to the lines. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Okay, we. Hello, good evening. Mm. The line that got in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's important to note these things that I was talking about for your own benefit. Mm -hmm. For you to accomplish what you want to accomplish, for you to be as secure in your relationship as possible, for you to understand that there's a level of, of bliss that comes about from relationship. But I'm, I was talking about that simple thing as a hug and holding that person that you, you know, today, well, Rudolph, Derek, and my friends from Northeastern College will, will understand what I'm about to say here. This morning, as I was pulling into my driveway to come to work, this car stopped and the person popped the horn. So I said, well, that person tried to get my attention. And I had just come from the gym, so I opened the door and I looked over and there was this most beautiful angel looking at me. My darling friend from Northeastern College. Mm -hmm. The girl that I think is, to me, she, she warms my heart. And this is Sandra. She, all, she just looked at me and said, Raj, how are you? Mm -hmm. And I had the smile on my face for the entire day. Just the fact that I saw Sandra mm -hmm. this morning, she has that impact on me. That Sandra, is good. Sandra was my ex. That's your ex? Yeah. This is not my ex. No capital, <laughs> but, but a capital E too. Anyway, we go back to the lines. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh huh. Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Hello. Yes, he answered you. Isaac Lam o'clock call. But the but the figure in New York, so the time is just all right. No, this time normal, is the same. Back to normal time. Right now. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So you know when, when you see someone like that and that, that impact that they have on you. So my good friend Derek and um, Derek Espinoza and Derek Tony and mm -hmm. um, Rudolf Singh, they will understand mm -hmm. that. Yeah. She had that impact on everyone in school. Mm. Yeah. Every single person coming to contact with her will tell you that. Yeah. That she will she put a smile on your, your face. face. Literally put a smile on Must be face. a beautiful woman, all right. So well, she's not only beautiful in looks. Eh? No, but in ways. Yes. And mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You don't think we just see out outer look at all. Sure. Angel, you was reading out some people. Do you have any more people there to um, give us a heads up? You lost. How come? Mm -hmm. No, no, I, I have plenty more here. But mm -hmm. I can't hand it over to you because you'll end up in problems. Yeah, uh, yes. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No meaning that there'll be too much, yeah. too much for she to, um, to deal with. To deal, yeah. Anyway, folks, taking time, it's now eight minutes before 10 o'clock. Inside, Sex Explosion and Power, the 2.1 FM on this Friday evening with the guru of sex education, Dr. Raj Ramanen, your host of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center of St. Augustine, where he do treat all sexual dysfunctions. 
For those of you who would love to interact with him, maybe something on your mind that is bothering you, that is sexual, well, this is the forum for it. Feel free, you can give him a call at 2228255, also at 6128255. Yo. Vindal says, in fact, my bro, Rochelle, Leeling, and myself have been listening to this insightful program for almost a decade. Always interesting content. I remember it was Vindel and something. Yes, I yeah. remember the name Vindel. Yeah, yeah they, used to, they used to be sending messages and whatnot. Well, we're happy to have you. A good evening to Adi Wole. Um, in New York, Rosanna Rodriguez. They were locked on. Nalisha Suku. Ches Maynard. Good evening, Dr. Raj and Sex Explosion team. Keep up, keep on doing the good work for the wider community. God bless. That's from Adi Wole. Mm. I see Petra is on. Pleasant good night to you. What about WP? What about WP? WP is on. I don't know. I haven't seen WP. Okay. Have we'll you seen WP? It. No, because I know she's a strong follower of the program. Oh, you just tried to mind my business. No, no, no. no. You, you just want one name. That's all you want. You know, you know, same person I'm coming. Let's see all the We have a lot of persons on. Um, Mulchi, oh, self family. Queen mm -hmm. is on. Alicia, Alicia. Raj Wolf, mm -hmm. Wayne Garcia, Wayne Nine Garcia, Fash, T Ram mm -hmm. Saran, mm -hmm. Rachel and Sally. Randall Kisun, how are you? Yes, tomorrow is our match, but we're getting licks like pepper. But don't worry, we always start off like that. Mumbai Indians is getting licks at the beginning, but always come on strong in the end. Yeah, so. yeah, surprisingly, I watch a game there now. Yeah. No, we always, we always, we all, yeah. for, the, for the last five or six... Um, slow starters. Very slow, very, very slow. We lose, we lose sometimes five in a row. Mm -hmm. Last mm -hmm. year, we, lo we lost I think, five in a row, and then we had to come from behind and mm -hmm. win. Mm -hmm. But we won everything. Mm -hmm. We have the Trinidad playing on that team. Yeah, Axel answers, man. Elvin Lewis and um, Pollard. Oh, those are the only yeah. two. You want more? No, but I see the Ryan spins on board there. No, well, he on. He, he, <laughs> he, as a matter of his team is playing our team. I see he spins on board there. Ooh, ooh, good ball, isn't it? Yep, yeah, as a matter of fact, I got giddy. And all that spin. You actually just watching cricket, boy? Yeah, you boy. Well, like, coming to an end. No, it was fast. No, it was, it was real fast. Man was hitting ball. Clifton Hall, family and Raj, good night. I guess he knows you. Mm -hmm. MS Rum, Clifton Hall. With a humble feet. I enjoy listening. Hot and saucy. Mm -hmm. Let's have some kind of handle there. Make you wonder, you know. Yeah, I mean, to be hot is one thing, but, but hot and saucy. saucy? <laughs> I mean, that is a bonus. Like you like hot and saucy? We don't talk about doubles, eh? You yeah. thought <laughs> like <hot> <laughs> <laughs> it was doubles we're talking about? <laughs> And the, and the next one who loves food only back in, eh? Hmm? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Dal and rice and doctors. Hey. Yeah, hey. yeah. Stop the food talk, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we always get to this point. No, because, no, because yeah, what happened? Like, oh, no, but you have, no, but you have to eat, to, you have to eat too, you see. You have to, there are other things you can eat. No, well, this is what I'm saying. <laughs> you, you, you I just love food. <laughs> I know. Anyway, folks, taking what time, five minutes before 10 o'clock. I tell you, this is what it's all about when you're thinking in terms of sex education. Sex explosion on power, the 2.1 FM. And for those of you who are joining us for the very first time, on a Wednesday and Friday from 9 p.m., with your host, Dr. Raj Ramdanen, of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center, or it's in Augustine. Feel free, for those of you who would love to interact with him via the telephone, you can do that right now. Two 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 eight two five five. Also at six one two eight two five five. If you do decide that you want to send him a WhatsApp or a text message, you can also do that on his private mobile seven four zero one nine six one. Yeah. My wife did not actually um, believe when I told her about her ability to eat until she saw her. Mm -hmm. Take that to hand call. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. She was blown away. Yeah, who knows? Might be the restaurant calling here now. Just in the Hello. Okay. No, not this time. And they cut off one time. Mm. They say now, boy, you can't feed back your honey. You know? That's too much. I tell you, I prefer to buy clothes any day. <laughs> any day. That is too much. Oh yeah. <laughs> so as you were saying. Hey, Howard from Aruba. We haven't heard from Howard for a long time, man. Howard, how are you? Mm -hmm. No, from Aruba. Yeah. 
quite some time. Yeah, Howard, we haven't heard from Howard in uh, ages, I should yeah. say. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. Go ahead, let me hear all you. I'm trying to fix something. No, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out family here. Which one? Any of you folks thinking what I'm three minutes before 10 o'clock? I tell you, this is what it's all about on a Friday evening, especially for those of you who might be just about driving around and you pack up. You're listening to Sing Explosion on Power 2.1 FM. Base Exologist, the only one in the Caribbean, and your host of Sex Explosion, Dr. Raj Randanen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center. We go back to the lines. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Yes, it is. Good evening. Fine, how are you? Go ahead. Pleasant good evening to you, but it's a uh, which is a call from McBean. Hey, I'm all right. Okay, you all have a good night. Thank you. Hmm. Well, you have a right to call him uncle because of the I just want to call Junior Octo. <laughs> Hi, good evening. Welcome to Sex Explosion. Very, Very clear. clear. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, good evening to everybody. To Dr. Raj on his explosion show. Good evening. Good evening. Um, call a regular listener. And um, we had to pray hard because I've already just took now. Um, you know about air strikes, so you know what was. So keep, keep going in our thoughts on every, at, at every time. No, well, I'm not aware what you're talking about, yes, so I, I really at, at all. International news, international news now. Uh -huh. Air strike order to Syria. Hmm. Well, Russia will retaliate. And... You might end up in a draw. <laughs> yeah. Retaliate? Yeah. Russia is not, yeah. going, not going to take that, so. You're going to take it, so? Nah. Yes, you are too close. Absolutely not. They're not going to take it like that. That is years of years of friendship. Yes, you, and Russia has already said that. So, yeah. Yep. Well, thanks a lot for that information. Yeah, I, well, I, 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 I think that doesn't work over. Okay, family. Thank you. Okay, all right. A very interesting subject he, he brought up there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, for uh, how would I said it's three years since we have um, connected. Or not connected? Three years? Three, wow, yeah. time flies. Eh? Yeah, when you enjoy, well, no, you're not enjoying it anyhow. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, folks, taking over time, it's now 10 o'clock in Trinidad and Tobago. Sex explosion on power to 2.1 FM on our Wednesday and Friday evening from 9 p.m. exclusively on power to 2.1 FM. Real radio for real people. Mm -hmm. I'll yeah. tell you something, you know, I, I, I pay close attention to what's going on in the world and what I didn't know they ordered a strike because of. Usually on a Friday evening, I go and spend time with my wife and we just relax and get ready for program. And then, of course, there's a rundown to, to catch the few, first few minutes of it. Mm. Um, and that's it. But I really didn't um, pay attention to that. But to tell you the God on this shoot, there's some award taking place somewhere. Everybody's going to start a war. You know, the big the superpowers, they always like war, 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 and war. Yeah, but it's what keeps the machinery of the United States going. Without a war, the United States will crash, you know. People don't realize that. When you talk about war, yeah. America has to go to war all the time. It's what keeps the American okay. economy going. Okay, well, what we are going to do is go back to the lines. Hello and welcome to Saint Explosion. Good evening. Yeah, how Russia will win a war against the Americans, the British, and France? Did I say um, Russia is going to win? No, he, he didn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, he didn't say. Go <laughs> Family, I think he's listening to our double station. I think he's dotish. No, he didn't say he's going to win. <laughs> I never said that. I no. said Russia is going to retaliate. You don't understand what retaliate means? Go and get a dictionary. Dotish. You see, people are so stupid. Eh? You know, people just want to, let me, let me tell you, Trinidadians just want to jump in the fray and talk about things that they don't know about. That's the first thing they want to do. He ain't listen to what I said. I never said anybody to who. Nobody's going to win that war. Up to now, America haven't won the Vietnam War. No, they haven't. <laughs> they haven't won the Vietnam War. They haven't won the Korean War. Well, they haven't won the, Ira the Iran War, no, the Iraq War. 
None. So what are you talking about winning? Russia didn't even win the Afghanistan war. So what no. are you talking about? Stupid people. When you have stupid yeah. people, <laughs> he, stupid people should never listen to this program. Yeah, <laughs> God. I thought when he said Russia won, I thought he meant, he meant two won. I mean, I thought, I thought, I, I, I thought I, was, I, I, uh, is a sports. I, yeah, that's why I said, I said two won, what? Russia well, you see, America damn vexed they're going to the World Cup too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, well yeah. So they want so to they divert, do anything to spoil it. <laughs> they want to divert the attention. <laughs> they do anything to spoil it. Yeah, and that, our name will pop up around the World Cup again, or no? Well, not again. If 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 it go if they go to we win another World Cup. No, 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 no what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, well, they'll be continuously talking about we knock out America. Knock out America, yeah. So why didn't jump up and say something about Trinidad could never knock out America? Why did mm -hmm. say that? Mm -hmm. Since you're on the sport thing, and I don't want to stay too long because this is... Hey, Jareem, I have to say, this is Michelle I, I e. and, well, Jareem, I, I must say I had the pleasure of meeting that young man mm -hmm. um, four, four years ago. He came to my home. He had dinner at my home and whatnot. And after speaking to him, then I knew he would have been a champion. And he, mm -hmm. he was sure that he would become a champion at that time. I have mm -hmm. photographs with him at home, sitting in my, at, at home with, with us. Mm -hmm. take, that, take that call. Maybe it's him. Let's see. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Where are you, man? Mm -hmm. Didn't catch you. Yeah. Yeah. As you're a dotish fool. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell you that and you'll listen to me, but we'll listen to you. Hmm. Anyway. Why why people are so dotish for? If you if you don't understand what this program is about, don't listen. And don't talk about love. We're talking about love and sex. <laughs> yeah. It's true. <laughs> no, his sex life is, 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 is batting for somebody who wouldn't lose anyway. Okay, we'll find a sex life. Anyway, folks, yeah, so Jareem, yeah. I have to say congratulations to that young man if, um, and the determination of him and, and, and um, after getting a slap in the face from the, yeah, the, the British, the guy from Britain. Yeah, but what I... Take it. Yeah. But get ready to cut off. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to Sex Explosion. Hello? Hi, good evening. Good and Tanya Hello? Yeah. Good and Tanya Okay, family, thanks a lot for that info. Mm -hmm. Dr. Raj, is this a true fact or a myth? If a woman's menstrual cycle changes, does it have anything to do with her partner? Only if her partner is giving her stress? <laughs> yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. That's the only way. That is the only way. No other way. No. It's not because a partner is cheating at all. I know that is what you're trying to insinuate. Yeah, that way trying to insinuate, but no. That's the real question that they're trying to ask. You know, if your partner cheating on you, guys, no, 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 it has nothing to do with The only thing is if he's stressing you out. Anyway, folks, taking your time, it's now six minutes after 10 o'clock. I tell you, this is what it's all about on a Friday evening. Sex explosion with your host, Dr. Ranj Ramnanen, of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center, or at St. Augustine. I tell you, there he treats all sexual dysfunctions. If you would love to interact with him via the telephone presently in studio, feel free. 2228255. Also at 612-8255. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that sounds like a good, uh, a good, yeah, a good, uh, a good plan. Yeah, after hearing, um, Dan is the man with a plan. Yeah, man, yeah, Dan is the man who missed the van, <laughs> and he ended up in a camp. Yeah. Mm. Person says, "I is exactly that with cheating. A woman period does not ch change because I'm man cheating. Then, then, um, junior wife, wife and partner <laughs> will have a real problem." <laughs> That's a joke. That's a joke. You said you, 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 the cup was in your mouth. You might have drunk. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. Yes. <laughs> Could you see the bottom of the cup? <laughs> no, boy. No, no, no. The tide, the tide is up. The tide is up. Not seeing the bottom. I would like somebody to tell me if they have heard that or they believe that. How is it possible for a person period to change? Because one partner is cheating. How is that possible? Where's the logic in that? No, no, the person said that. Uh, uh, he, well, it's always on the behalf of a friend. Yeah. But yeah, but I told my friend right? this and said is because one is cheating. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, let's go back to the lines. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Hi, good evening. We can hear you from... Can hear you. I... No, I'm not hearing. Hello? We're not hearing you clear, family. Good evening. Oh, no, he wants to speak to the angels. If you can't understand what the person is saying, please ask the person to call back. Mm -hmm. Don't try to decipher what they're saying. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Here. No. Even? Mm. Okay, taking our time to 10 minutes after 10 o'clock. Sex explosion on power to two point one FM. Feel free to two two eight two five five. Also at six one two eight two five five. Yeah. So getting back to the topic at hand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that that question that I'm asking, you tell me how where's the logic in those things? Mm -hmm. The only mm -hmm. thing that you can get from cheating is if your person that you're cheating with has an STD. That's the only thing that you'll take home to your other partner. Mm. That's all. Yeah, right. Interesting, eh? Good. <laughs> anyway, folks, 10 minutes after 10 o'clock, the magic of sex education with Dr. Raj, your host. Yeah. So Chair says he's been listening to this program for many years, and you have heard that many times. Well, all, all information has not changed on this program, you know. The only thing that will change is if something is current affairs and something has changed. Mm -hmm based on wool facts, but same information all the time. Persons are, persons are, 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 are individuals who would have certain experiences in life. There are a number of things that could bring about changes. Changes come within you, you know. For example, even if you are in a relationship and your partner is cheating on you and you're aware of it, but you don't let it bother you, mm -hmm. it's not going to affect you. Because the, there are some individuals who are in relationship and they know their partner is cheated, but they don't let it get to them. So it doesn't do them. It doesn't do it. It doesn't do anything to you. It may be by mutual consent. It may be because it's okay to do so. You don't see any. It's not a big deal. Or you you doing the same thing, so you allow your partner to do it, and it's not it's not a big deal. But it all depends on the individual. If you let something affect you. Mm -hmm. then it's going to affect you. And the point I was going to bring up when that, the first caller turned this whole program upside down with that stupidness about international news. Well, I don't give a shit about international news right now. I'm doing a sex program. But when you bring up, if that is affecting you, that your problem. Honestly, that is your problem. You sit down in your little thing and you, you bust your head about that. If persons want to sit down on the news and, and listen to the news and watch the news and be affected by that, that is your problem. The same with current affairs in Trinidad or politics in Trinidad. If you want to take side and say my party better than your party, and that is your problem. You have a problem because you're making it affect you and you want it to affect others. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing with relationship. Mm -hmm. The same thing applies to your relationship that you have with your partner. If you allow the things that are happening to get to you, it's mm -hmm. going to get to you. It will get to you. And if you just let it slide off, you know the dashing bush leaf? Oh, yeah. When water fall on it, what does happen? It just slide off. It just roll right off. Mm -hmm. Let it roll off. Yeah. Like water on the dogs, man. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah. you know, World Cup is coming up. Cric um, foot, um, foot soccer or football World Cup. And there are people who are going to take side. And my side better than your side. And, oh God, my side go beat your side. And, and we win it so much time. And then at the end of the day, it doesn't change the price of rice. It doesn't change the, the quality of your sleep. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make you a better lover or a worse lover. So what the hell do you care? Mm -hmm. You only feel that euphoria for the moment. Mm -hmm. You feel that sense of pride when you, the, the team that you're backing with. But it doesn't put a cent in your pocket unless you bet on the team. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I, know, I, I know you're a German fan. Because I like no, I, I, I like the German team. I back them. Mm -hmm. in. I don't back any other team, but... They win, lose, or draw. I still back yeah. them. Mm -hmm. I've been backing them ever since I know myself. It doesn't matter to me. 
Yeah. If other persons think that it is more important to them, that's their yeah. business. The they said in Mumbai Indians. Mm -hmm. I back the Mumbai Indians whether win, lose, or draw. That's my team. Mm -hmm. That's the team I back. I, I watched the match. And to tell you the God on his truth, when Bravo played better and caused CSK to win over, mm -hmm. a, a friend of mine said, Why tough luck? I said, No, my team won. He said, What do you mean? I said, A Trinidadian won. A Trinidadian did well. Mm -hmm. That's what I care about. That's the most important thing. That's what I care about. Yeah. So I'm a patriot to heart, you know. Mm -hmm. Once a Trinidadian is on a team or anywhere doing something, I am backing that person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm not a diehard fan that I'm going to. Well, folks, I can definitely tell you that you are making radio an experience by itself when you're listening to Sex Explosion on Power, the True Point One FM, with brain sexologist and the guru of sex education, your host. Dr. Raj Vandenen, our tilt on image and the adult therapy on Tower at St. Augustine. And folks, for those of you who would love to interact with him via the telephone right now, feel free. 222-8255. Also at 612-8255. For those of you sending in messages, you can also do that on his private mobile, 7401961. You can also send in your messages on our website at Power 2 FM. We will receive and air it for you. Yeah. Pleasant good evening to Shamila. She's, I think, in Pinal, listening to the program. Yeah, so uh, when you're fanatical about something, it's going to affect you. Mm -hmm. So there's some persons who are fanatical about politics. Yeah. There are some persons who are fanatical about religion. It's going to affect you, but if you allow things to play out, mm -hmm. you're going to realize that it doesn't change. It doesn't change your quality of life, you know. You change your quality of life. You cause things to affect your relationship. You cause the problems in your in, most of the times in your relationship, you know. It's not mm -hmm. others. For example, if somebody come and tell you something about someone, about your spouse, are you going to take the word of the person who's telling you it, and not decipher why it is this person is telling me this and just go and have an argument with your spouse? Mm -hmm. No, but, but you were trying to find a reason behind that. I see in general, I think that's what she might have some no. Because persons face these things. Mm -hmm. Because if someone wants to cause strife in your life, they will come to you with a story or they'll come to you and tell you something that they know it's going to affect you because they know how you're going to react to things. Mm -hmm. But if somebody comes and tells me something, they have no idea how I'm going to react. Because for years, I have always maintained that neutrality about things like that. And they don't know how I'm going to react. I know how I'm going to react because I know how I feel about things. Yeah, yeah. But I know how to control it also. Mm -hmm. I know how to con and, and, and control it doesn't mean to say it will be something bad, you know. Mm -hmm. I know how to control the good and the bad. Oh, okay. And that's when, when somebody says, oh, I'm going to control my emotions. The thing that you're going to break down and cry. No, it might be, I might be too happy. Mm -hmm. And I could control that also. Mm -hmm. Because they always think it's something negative when you make a statement like that. Because you know why? Because the person is thinking along those lines. Mm -hmm. yeah, and they yeah. don't realize that you mm -hmm. may not be thinking along those lines. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, it, uh, it, but the average person, that's how they are. They're exactly. Yeah. But I don't think like that. Mm -hmm. And again, I, I, I remember very, very vividly someone calling my wife and telling my wife I go on somewhere with a woman and mm -hmm. she tell him hold on look he's sitting right here I'm going to ask him where you going mm -hmm. because the person saw my car going somewhere but they, of course they, they call my wife and say it's me mm -hmm. she said well hold on I'll, I'll ask him who you going with he's sitting right here mm -hmm. I told you no it was my cousin I left my cousin my, my car and he went with his wife mm -hmm. somewhere yeah but it just goes to show you but it shows this person think eh? yeah but what I'm telling you is that that person had an agenda why are you calling my wife to tell my wife that? You obviously have an agenda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she said, okay, no problem. Hold on. I'm going to ask mm -hmm. it. Hmm. And even if it was me, when I come, she, 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 she wouldn't even ask. I, I could put my head on a block and tell you that because recently somebody put something up on her wall that any other wife would have knocked out her husband's head. Any other wife. Mm -hmm. the, the, what they put on her wall. Yeah. And she simply said, um, come, come and take a look at this. How, how do you get this off the screen? And I took it off, and she never even asked me if that's true or not. Mm -hmm. Never once asked me, is that true what they, are, what they said there or not? Mm -hmm. yeah. well, full Just yeah. took it off. So I know, the, I know who, of, who I'm, uh, of who I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. yeah, you will. 
That has to be a gift from God. Yes. Mm -hmm. A gift or oh yeah. No, it's a gift you know, from it God. It have to be. Yeah. Because for someone to for I my I myself was I, when I saw it I was like, what the how is she going? And she just said took how, how she don't know how to take it off her Facebook. Mm -hmm. So I went in and I took it off and what I just up to now she has not even asked me if that was true or not and that is over three months now. It has never come up in a conversation, nothing like that. So when you don't, I know I know how I would have reacted if mm -hmm. I saw something like that. I would have been the same way like her. Because we have that kind of relationship, brother. Yeah, in the past. Yeah. Anyway, folks, taking hotel, it's now 19 minutes after 10 o'clock inside a sense explosion on this Friday evening with your host, Dr. Raj Ramnanen. I'll tell you what we are going to do is take a break and we'll be right back with you. Stay tuned. I'm about to lose that connection on that. Yes, I'll have to switch over. You're going to, you're, you're going to break? Yeah. Okay, well, no, well, let's just run that? Be because, eh? Didn't you just say that? No, I'm talking about you You on, a, on your break. Cut down the shakes, eh? I'm not even going there. Oh. After the dinner was. Somebody asked me if I wanted a massage after I, just, I have a, I have a strange feeling. I don't know what in the corner, man. Eh? Oh, boy, talk to him. Eh? I preach. I preach. <laughs> oh, see, come now. A big man like me calling uncle. Man, we are the same age, yes? They calling me uncle. GPS for peace of mind. Trinidad and Tobago. We're really standing united and moving forward as one. So let's do this. Let's do this. With Sherma Wilson. Saturdays from 7 to 9. Oh, no. Come here. You have more rings than TSTT? We're one people, one nation, and all in this together. Is that rings on your foot too? Let's do this with Sherma Wilson from 7 to 9 a.m. You can never run out of a ring, a ring tone. Our 102, empowering you. Now, wherever you are in Trinidad and Tobago or the world, the power of Power 102 FM is in your... Eh? We have to change them every time I change them. Oh, you just keep a standard thing. Hey, hey, hey. There's somebody else, correct? Yeah, yeah, it's true. And the cat bury you with it. Because if you bury it, somebody go to come to give and take it. You Hindu? And what are you? I'm Muslim. You Muslim? Okay. No, they can't. They can't take it off. No, they have to take it off. <laughs> but even when that guy died, um, yeah, they even though they had him, even though they had him in the coffin with him, yeah, but they took it off. Yeah, they had to kick on even though he flowers too. Yeah, there were no flowers. All my devices here dying.
be careful there because this could fall. No, I have to no, that's too hold it, hold it, hold it. It's too much at the end. Hold it, hold it. I had something at oh. no, no, all. That, 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 that. that, let's remember what I used to do. Any news on him? No. We're going down, boy. I'm missing one more. Um, somebody else in that court for him. So, was that one individual? This one in England. Do, 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 do. Well, I could definitely tell you that nobody does better what we do best when it comes to sex education on a Wednesday and Friday, right here on Power to Two Point One FM with your host, Doctor Madge Randall. Best one I've ever done. Our image and the adult therapy center. Oh, real. Our lines are open for those of you who would love to interact with them. 2228255, also at 6128255. If you are sending him a WhatsApp or a text message, you can also do that on his private mobile, 7401961. Yeah. And I see my good friend Trudy is on also. Trudy, okay. Mm -hmm. Trudy is one of our... <clears throat> regular? One of our... Schoolmate, classmate from Northeastern North College. Oh, that's another North Yes, North another, another, another um, NEC non-educated child. Mm. Mm. No, 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 I wouldn't say so. Northeastern, that was, uh, what we said about that school, if they didn't move me out of the country, uh, I would have been... Uh, would hey, have been, uh, Marlene, how are you, my dear? I had the pleasure of seeing Marlene recently and her injury. Marlene? Marlene, my good friend Marlene. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Well, I went and visited yeah. Marlene, of course, I was in... Florida for, for two days, so I went and visit Marlene. She dropped she, something on her feet and oh. one of her foot, and she got injured. Mm. So something, something. I, yeah, take that call. Mm. We'll deal yeah. with the other. Yeah, yeah, we're going to deal with that. Hello, and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Yes. Um, good evening, Dr. Rush. And good evening. Mm-hmm. You hearing me? Yes, yes we, yes, we are. Hello? Hearing at all. You know, you, no, you don't need to hear us. We're hearing you. Mm -hmm, yeah. Listen to us on the phone. phone, not on the radio. The radio has a delay, so you wouldn't hear us. Um, Dr. Raj? Yes. I uh, wanted to know my son, about 15 years, and he joined a gym. I want to know what best advice you could give him and if a person over 60 it is beneficial to join a gym it's beneficial Thanks it's beneficial it's beneficial for anyone to join a gym as long as you know your limitations remember your flexibility in your muscles will not be there the tendons you have to be careful with the types of exercises that you do mm -hmm. make sure you do your research um, you can do aerobic type activity um, some weights, not too heavy. You do not want to tear any of the muscle. Uh, make sure you stretch mm -hmm. and you warm up properly before you engage in any sort of exercise. That's for the 60-year-old person. For the 15-year-old, at 15 years of age, you think you know everything and you think he's the world's strongest man. Do not let that motivate you. Depending on what you want to achieve, if you if you lifting weights for, for sports, yep. there's a different way of lifting weights. 
If you're lifting it for to be a bodybuilder, that's a different thing. If you're actually doing it for health benefits, that's a different thing. You have a program that is going to give you regular workout, so your metabolic rate stays stable. You are able to develop muscle, and of course, once you are lifting weights or doing any sort of exercise like that, you need to rest. Mm. Rest is when the muscle really develops, not when you're lifting weights. When you're lifting weights, you're destroying tissues. That's what you're doing. You're breaking down tissues. A lot of times we think that when we are lifting iron, the more iron we lift, the stronger we be. No, it's when you rest, hmm. then you are developing the muscle tissues. Very interesting. Okay, we go back to the lines. Hello and welcome to Sex Explosion. Good evening. Yes, I did not mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that, uh, that fool still on the air? He's still listening and eating up himself for the last hour. Boy, you, you need a purge. <laughs> He bum cock. No, he pur you need a purge, not a woman. A woman can't help you. There's a difference. A woman cannot help him. He needs a purge. Yeah. He needs to take off the fluff from his mind. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, folks, thank you. We turn 29 minutes after 10 o'clock. The magic of sex education. Exclusively on Power to Two Point One FM, with your host Dr. Raj Ramanan. Our lines are open for those of you who love to interact with him via the telephone. Feel free two 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 eight two five five. Also at six one two eight two five five. Yo. Yeah. Let me make it abundantly clear. Mm -hmm. I don't care who get involved or whatever. That is their business. They're going to work it out. No, no but we have our problems our of our own. own. So why study? You know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're going to work out their problems any way they see yeah. fit. Mm -hmm. yeah, that is their business. Only try to work out all your problems here now. Yeah, we have serious problems here. So <laughs> and we can't even work that out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and every time you can't go. You, eh? What? Yeah. Eh? What thought the minister say there's a pothole number to call? There is? There's a number mm -hmm. to call, something pothole yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah something yeah, hole. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's no, no, there's a number to call for patrols. It doesn't mean to say it's going to get fixed, no. but there's a number to call for patrols. Yeah, there's a number. So you just put gravel and stuff. No. I know, I, I like what they just do. Steel is bus tire. No, I put it flat. It is. Oh. When you keep pressing on the steel, it just come up, so in case you don't know. It raises. It. That's why they don't use steel on roads. Mm -hmm. That will bust the tire. Yeah, that, no, yeah. Believe me, it will. Mm -hmm. It will do so. Mm -hmm. It come back. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, at least um, look on the brighter side. Okay. Two holes. Can you, can you, mm -hmm. Mr. Russia, can you have me fix the hole? Tomorrow, <laughs> 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 Look, the next thing you know, you want to come. Oh, the road has some too. Next thing you know, you want to come by your house. Yeah? So you <laughs> well, you can give him any hole to fix. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Then you throw some gravel. Boy, people are real dotish. Mm -hmm. No, but the thing about it, eh, there's so much important things going on in our country right now. I don't think I have the nerve to put my mind focus on what's happening away. I don't, I, it, it's, it's not important because you have to look at, first of all, persons like that, he looked like he maybe just bully his wife or beat his wife. So he and we have a wife, we leave him on God because that kind of aggression and whatnot, mm -hmm. right? Secondly, his neighbors, we don't talk to him. <laughs> Thirdly, his co-workers maybe want to poison the food or something. That too. I think that's the main, the main, the main thing, lacking sex. Oh, you lacking? Oh. Wow. Well, yeah, I'm done for that. You need a cuddle. You need a hug. You need a cuddle. You need a hug. 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 You hug. You need a hug. Hugs and kisses, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah, you need, yeah. You need something like that to kind of get you on. Well, you know, some people some people do not know how to accept a hug. No, it's very true. Mm -hmm. You know that. You go to hug them and they're like, eh? uh, uh, um, uh, no, 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 don't do that. Mm -hmm. no. Because they don't know how to accept it. Mm -hmm. they, they just no, don't know how to be. How, that intimacy, they don't know how to accept it. Can't accept love and can't, can't what accept. You, yeah, but what you say there make a lot of sense. But I never thought about that way. You know, like if you're coming to a person to give them a hug, and they like, and you get the body motion, you, you get the body. The body. Like the hug. Yeah, you get the body motion. I find you don't hug enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But what trouble is? 
Before, you know, you see, that's, that's unfair. Mm -hmm. Very unfair. Two of you, two of <laughs> us, we get no we hug get for the hug. day. Hey, family, family, wait, just wait a second. Let me see your nails there. <laughs> I don't, you know. I wanted to tell you that, you know. Skittle nails. It's for skittle nails. Yeah, but what happened to that one in the center? It's hey, it some kind of running off it's or something. It's coming off. It's going to take off. Oh, oh, oh. Rain wet, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's melting. Very cheap nail polish. Very cheap nail polish. That's that's a Chinese nail polish. <laughs> it is Chinese. It's the same thing. I do I did mine and it's just mm, yeah, more colours than the rainbow dear family. Yes. It's called Skittles. <laughs> Skittles? <laughs> that's what Skittles I was told today. You know your Skittles have this. It's yeah. not the eat really you one. Yeah. I think that is disgusting. It's so disgusting. <laughs> I'm like every time I see it, I'm like why would, they so make, why would they make why would they make a, 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 a okay. an advertisement for something to eat to peel us off somebody's okay. face? I know, right? It's okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look, you light on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and is it contagious? Oh. Mm -hmm. well, and you he have the audacity to say no. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. That's not disgusting. They are very disgusting. Now. Really nice, this reminded me. You're shaking up. Feels, a, you're shaking up sorry. a camera like this. People this, getting dizzy on that side. It's like. I'm not accustomed to the camera. See? Well, I had to do that, otherwise the camera would have cut off yeah. and people wouldn't see us. Look at you, This kind of okay, you know? Yeah. Kind of okay? Yeah. No. What are these skittle deals? What these skittle deals? Who want to see skittle? I, I had another word for it. You want no. me to say the other word? No. You want me to say the other word? No. Oh. Mm -hmm. You remember that reggae artist that you resemble? <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? I don't. Mm, look yeah. at the face change already. I know but. reggae artists normally have like. Anyway, folks, taking hotel 25 <laughs> minutes before 11 o'clock. So explosion on this Friday with your host, Dr. Ryan Ramdanella of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center of St. Augustine. Feel free for those of you who would love to interact with him via the telephone. You can give him a call right now. 222-8255, also at 612-8255. You're listening to a program that's informative, educational, and of course entertaining exclusively on Power 2.1 FM, Real Radio for Real People. Yeah. My friend Shamila says she loved the nails. Aww, loved the... thank you! <laughs> that... If I get romantic with a hand like that, I'll get giddy. Because junior, junior, will, wait, wait, wait. Will, junior, I, I wait. I will be thinking of eating. I will be thinking of eating skittles and everything like that. Eat your fingers. Junior. Suck well, suck it out. Yeah. That eat suck. Junior, mm. You forget the episode when where they had love my toes. So mm -hmm. now they love my fingers. Yeah, hey. Oh yeah, I remember the toes one. And you know everything comes in trees, right? So I'm afraid. I, I wonder what is the next one. Mm. Yes. Could we see? Could we see if there's any bush? By George? Rude. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She pick up and she pick up. No, but I pick Rude. up. I pick up and she pick up. Did somebody ask that? I know. Did somebody ask that? Well, he said that's part three. Oh. Nice part. Nice part three. You yeah. want to call it? No, 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 no that's part three. I was talking about lips, like normal lips. The family. That last. That's last. That's last. That's last. That's last. That's last. That's last. What's last on the list? Lips. According to, but when we think in terms How of three. if you want to see the angels, you better be in the studio here, my friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin is saying the be same thing. Because you don't realize that if we put the angel socialize on. Mm -hmm. um, Kevin is saying the same thing. He's saying not seeing the angel. Let's say, well, get a binoculars. <laughs> yeah. I find people are getting a little too personal, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, no, I mean personal with me. Oh. Would you? Uh -huh. <laughs> they, want, they want to see my knocking on? Somebody want to spread something. And... Oh, okay, okay. No, it's good to spread. <laughs> <laughs> spread, spread. Your family is well fed with blue banana bread. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, they actually yeah. advertise and force people to eat that crap. Uh -huh. yeah. What was that? Blue banana. Oh, blue banana. Mm -hmm. when, when they tell me blue banana, I think, you know what kind of the devil's there? Eh? Mm -hmm. Because they blue. Oh, I thought when they uh, talked about yeah, the yeah, band. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, I think in the terms of carnival. Mm -hmm. Right? Um, yeah. Let me get back to um, the, somebody asked the, the topic while we talk about hugs and kisses and loving and yeah, loving and, uh, and who like to hug and who don't like. You like to hug? Me? I love to 
You love to cuddle? I love to cuddle. Cuddle? After sex, do you, are you the type of, I, I know women have different feelings, different movements. After what do you like to do after sex? You like to, you know, do you smoke after sex? No. I never look. I never look. <laughs> <laughs> I might be smoking. I never. Well, that's what I meant. I never mean smoke. I, I never said. Do, do you smoke okay. cigarette after sex? And, I mean, do you smoke? Does your vagina smoke? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the answer to that is I never look. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you learned something. So you learned something new tonight, right? Mm -hmm. Lack of lubrication. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> and you know, it's that all water on my water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, if a woman vagina water on my water. Yeah. We should find out that. No, no, they, yeah, well, no, but they say all water on my water. Yeah. No, well, after all, in order to I get. Don't want somebody own nothing. No, yeah, we but, should find out that. Yeah, but you, yeah, but you drink water and you and you. Um, yeah, you you lubricate. So it's it's it's, it's water. I've heard of a, a a gel that if, is it a gel or a capsule? What? That if you take it, that when you have an orgasm, it tastes like jelly or something sweet. There are plenty things for that, but the best thing for that is coconut water and pineapple juice. Mm -hmm. Coconut water and pineapple juice. Yep. Anytime you want your cum to taste delicious or your ejaculation to taste delicious, coconut water and pineapple. And you know you missed out something, the most important thing? Well, you get light jelly. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, the light jelly is good. Yeah. Yeah. From, yeah, from, yeah. yeah. Slight jelly. Slight. Slight. Yeah. Slight. Yeah. Yeah. But in his way, in his neck of the woods is light. Eh? Mm. Then when he go to buy doubles is light. <laughs> but not slight, you know. <laughs> not slight pepper, you know, light my, pepper. My doubles man on vacation, but I know. <laughs> Your doubles man on vacation. Imagine that, my doubles man on vacation. Do you know you promised to take us on that doubles date? Uh, you know? yeah, yeah. I'm afraid this one, why he might be dumping a pocket. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, but. That's you, not the kid about no, ice true. Ice true, but I, I, yeah, him. Hey, no, 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 no. I no, just no. like to eat. Oh, yeah. God. Oh, God, because I don't just like to eat. No. No. Uh-uh. Don't not put like it. No, 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 not at all. Mm -hmm. That's not true. You mean for the frame? Huh? You mean for the frame? For the frame. The quantity. The quantity. Everybody <laughs> likes <laughs> to eat, but not, I'm talking about the quantity. Quant yeah, the quantity is the, the quantity. Is the <laughs> you know, people think we're joking about that, but that's a very serious thing. Huh? Mm -hmm. I told you my wife was blown away. Because yeah. I, I always mention her, well, Angel does eat plenty. Huh? Mm -hmm. She said, well, it's plenty. I said, you wouldn't believe how much she does eat. Huh? Mm -hmm. I don't want having conversation with her after she leaves and she eating you know? mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. wow. it. So when she saw her in action, she was like, "You were right. Mm -hmm. This girl could really eat." But wait, before she ate like a bird. Who? Who ate like a bird? Yeah. Wait. Uh -huh. uh -huh. She ate like a bird. Um, I bought it and you can eat as well. Uh, and then I think um, we were like saying it. <laughs> Eat, eat no. anybody. <laughs> eating is good. Eating is good. Like, is it that she eats a lot or she eats a lot more? Like, a I lot eat a lot and more. <laughs> is it a lot at one serving you're talking about or a lot during the day? Like, you know, people eat every hour, two hours sometimes, but they eat a little. Yeah, hey, what? When you have yeah. time, observe. And, okay. and, and make you, note. And you just have dinner with me before we reach. I eat, I I eat not that. all. <laughs> anyway, folks, you is, is your sexual appetite <laughs> as as? <laughs> no Answer. Is it as strong as your Maybe. appetite? Maybe. It depends on the person. I'm not asking you. <laughs> I'm sorry. We're talking answer? to her. <laughs> so answer that. How is the sexual appetite? Your sexual appetite is hungry too all the time? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Doesn't it depend on the person? So what do you... Yeah, it depends on the person and the mood to everything. Was she hungry all the time? I would be hungry all the time if I have a little hot tea. My, <laughs> you all the time. my next question is, how do you satisfy it? <laughs> hey, hey, that's, a, that's a big question. It's how do you satisfy, do you your, satisfy? Sexual, your sexual yeah. Um, appetite? Yeah. I don't want you to be walking around here if you um you have a toy? You 
Yeah. Hey, talking about that, we got a lot of toys, but ooh, yeah. some nice toys came in. I don't oh know you, I haven't come up by you in a long time. Really, really nice stuff. Anybody, you, you could just come and look at it. Mm -hmm. You'd be blown away. We have the section it's for... It's so pretty. Uh, yeah, pretty. Like, it, the colors. Yeah. The it's really pretty. I like I like the fetish really I like pretty. the fetish section. It's really pretty. Because all of a sudden, go to that section. all of a sudden, all of a sudden, there's um I colors have, and black and white. I have to colors. Go to that section. No. Colors have to and black and white. No, in the um <laughs> the setup, mm -hmm. you have a wall of colors, all different colors, anything that you can imagine, and it goes into brown and black. And uh, brown, We're black, and about toys here, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then from there, it goes into a black and white section, and then back into colors. The oh black and white God. is mm -hmm. the most interesting mm -hmm. section. So, who was the person that um, do the deco? My daughter. Oh, for, oh, oh, you, for, oh you, for, she set it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she did a good job at that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, folks, taking more time, it's now 16 minutes before 11 o'clock. You are on the inside of Sex Explosion on Power Two Point One FM. We've got the angels. We've got the angels with us here on this Friday evening. Your host, Dr. Raj Ramdanan of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center of Dr. Augustine. And for those of you who would love to interact with him via the telephone, our lines are open. And you know, most of you might have something sexual bothering you and you need a forum for it. This is the place. 2228255, also at 612-8255. If you are sending in WhatsApp and text messages, you can also do that on his private mobile. Seven four zero one nine six one. Yeah, we have a whole section on um, fetish items, which mm -hmm. is to me is fascinating. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm -hmm. I'll come up and take a look. I've been up there quite some time. Yeah, you. I I was pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. Really, yeah. really surprised. Mm -hmm. The look, just the look. Yeah. I saw. Can so you elaborate on the fetish items, like? Well, for um things for bondage and um. Disciplines, mm -hmm. um, spanking material, um, floggers, Flog paddles, mm -hmm. whips. Things to tie you up and stuff. Mm -hmm. Whips and chains. Whips and chains. Have you ever had that experience? Oh. <laughs> You're not coming at you. Have you ever had that experience <laughs> being tied up? I'll, I'll deal with you first and then I'll go on to angel number two. Have no, you ever? I don't like that. You don't, don't like that? that? I want to tie people up. Yes, but why would you want to tie someone up and don't like to get mind, it in return? In my mind, I don't want to... She likes to be in control. Yes. Oh, you like to be in control? I like to be in control. That's exactly it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so, when you're ready to volunteer? <laughs> mm -hmm. You got all things all tied up. All mm -hmm. tied up. Didn't you want to see her watching down here, like your free to answer me or what? Hmm? She playing with your foot? Are they playing footsie? Yes. Under the table. Hey, you ever get accused of that in yes. school? Yes. Stop playing footsie under the table. Until how did they play footsie again? Until they had a girl I'd like. No, it had a, you know it had a toy called footsie long time. Yeah. You put yeah, it on it one foot and it's uh, spinning. Yeah, yeah, they spin it but around. when the teacher tell you playing, you used to play that. that you don't hear long jumping, time, boy. Like no, like no. You jumping? just put it on you just. Yeah, it's, and you had to jump, keep jumping. A ball, yeah. Yeah, and it's spinning. But um, do you know what they used to give? Young girls long ago to learn them to whine. Hula 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 yeah. And when you're in control and you get accustomed to this, like yeah, uh, uh, you have to do this <laughs> people, so people can hear you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> 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 you, you're more than ducking. <laughs> anyway, you, can you can, uh, yeah. Feel free. Hey, this is what it's all about. So, which toy did you get? I didn't yet. I have to visit the section. I, I saw it today, it looks really nice, mm -hmm. but I didn't get to go close up. Oh, I didn't get it before. No, I, didn't get it I think I have a photograph. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, mm -hmm. show, the, show them how pretty. No, I, I, I think I... I, I it is like all different colors, purple, pink, mm -hmm. blue. It's really, really pretty to look at. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's just one wall. They have green. Oh. 
Okay. Oh, and of course brown for, you know, the people who like natural colors. Then what's your favorite color? <laughs> My favorite color. Yeah. Since you bring it up. <laughs> it's a mixture. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm mixing. <laughs> what do you think we could be thinking? What do you think we're baking here or something? Or sponge cake or something? Or what? It's like the... It's a mixture, Junior. It's just not one. <laughs> no, no, yeah, but you it, must it's have... It's not like a Skittles finger. But no, yeah, like but, yeah, but you must have some kind of preference, you know. Sometimes, and that's the um, the fetish section. Oh, okay, yeah, they come in different colors, but one color. I like the fetish section, it's black. Mm -hmm. The yeah. fetish section, it's black. Mm -hmm. Somebody said their name is Sexy Lee from South. No, I don't know if it's a male or female, so I just saying that. Mm. I don't know what I'm gonna get though. I have to discuss this. You have to discuss mm. it? <laughs> yeah. no, eventually, you'll get something. I will. Right. Maybe I'll just get it. I'll just now what about you? Right. You don't want nothing? You have it ready? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you have already. <laughs> yeah, we have already. What? What do you have already? Mm -hmm. Nothing? Okay, okay we'll... we we'll no, have, have to go with that for now, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Anyhow, folks, taking your time, it's now 11 minutes before 11 o'clock. 11, 11. Mm, mm, mm. Well, feel free, you're listening to Sex Explosion on Power 2.1 FM on this Friday evening with your host, Dr. Raj Ramnanen. We've got the angels here with us, as always, but their presence is always nice seeing them. You know that for a fact, right? And especially for those of you who would love to interact with them, feel free. 2228255, also at 6128255. May I remind you that this program may contain material that is not suitable for children, parental guidance, therefore advised. Yeah. So, <clears throat> my friend Howard says that he's going to visit us soon. Mm -hmm. Howard, Just to yeah. see Howard Bermuda is out of Aruba. Oh, oh, yeah. Yes, just to see the angels, not to see us, you know. <laughs> Howard, do you still do your radio program? I'm not too sure if he does. Well, at one time he was experiencing some problems with the government. With that. Yeah. yeah. Thank God we so, don't. You know, I know there are like some people who, likes to, who would like to try mm -hmm. using toys and you know, stuff like that, but they... I was listening to a very interesting program yesterday morning on why, my favorite radio station when I'm in Florida is Y100. And the reason for that is that I literally grew up with that station while I was there studying. And the question that was asked, would you have a problem with your wife having a sex doll? A sex doll? A sex doll. You know, they have I these... Know, when I saw one there, you know, they, they have the male sex doll now with all the parts working and <laughs> they have artificial intelligence. A guy from oh, Spain... Invented one. Of yeah. Yeah. Forget the know. price. We're talking about <laughs> the item, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So the question was asked: Would you be jealous as a man if your wife had a sex doll that mm -hmm. could replace you? Mm -hmm. Is it cheating? And the answer was yes, mm -hmm. all the way. <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> I think I hope that the door don't get. Well, it's stick. artificial intelligence, right? So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but suppose now, let's say you have long nails, and with the excitement, <laughs> you punch it. No, dolls are like. No, no, it's, a, it's not blow up it's dolls like anymore, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like a, it's like a silicone. Oh, it is. Doll well, yeah, yeah, I saw them at the store there once. Yeah, is it? Or is the, the dolls are no longer blow up dolls no? like you know the rubber ducky used to sell right. a long time and yeah. they blow it up for Christmas. The Santa Claus used to blow mm -hmm. up for Christmas. Right, yeah. You know those things they don't make it anymore. Mm -hmm. I saw one of those dolls. The blow up one. No, I'm with, with, with. You must listen to what I'm saying, please. The rubber duckies and the Santa Claus and whatnot. They don't make it in those plastic anymore. Oh, 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 right, there was a place in Penal that used to carry. The sex toys, on the other hand, yes, they do make the plastic ones, which is the cheaper ones. Mm -hmm. They do make the silicone ones. They do make the ones with the vagina and the anus working, mouth vagina and anus. They make the ones with the um, picture of a famous star. They have those also. They have those that are actually molded from the genitalia of the famous star. Yeah. The mouth, the vagina, mm -hmm. the anus working 
they have those that are cyber skin which looks real it's the size of a human being mm -hmm. all the holes working and now you have the robotic dolls that can talk to you and will learn what you like over a period of time and obviously respond to you we don't need you all. <laughs> Same here. Kidding, Same kidding, here, Julian. Same kidding, here. Kidding. Same right. here. Kidding. Anyway, folks, taking the time is now seven minutes before 11 o'clock. Sex Explosion on this Friday evening with your sexologist, Dr. Raj Randanen of Total Image and the Adult Therapy Center, all that's in Augustine. All lines open for those of you who would love to interact with him. Feel free to 2228255, also at 6128255. If you are sending him a WhatsApp or a text message, you can also do that on his private mobile, 7401961. One. Yeah. If persons, you remember one time a guy said he drill a hole in his mattress and put a piece yeah. of plastic mm -hmm. and yeah. fill it up with grease yeah. to have sex with his and mattress? One, yeah, the one with the half ripe um, breadfruit. breadfruit. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said when he finished, so the breadfruit got ripe. <laughs> <laughs> it rose from the inside yeah. out. Oh, yes, he said he, yes, he said the breadfruit was green. But when he said, I hope he didn't cook it. Yeah, but when, when he finished, uh, no, but it was hot. The bread was but don't you stuff red fruit, I cook? <laughs> you never did that before? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he stuffed it with a pigtail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one time the bread fruit had a ball. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, but eventually the bread fruit broke, eh? Mm -hmm. but, yeah. Mm -hmm. What a bread fruit tree. <laughs> Gotta mind that, right? Yes, as you were saying. So, um,. If you can have sex with artificial, well, for years, people have been having sex with themselves, mm -hmm. masturbating. Women have been using hairbrush handles and anything that is phallic shaped for years, for centuries. Anything that is shaped in the form of a penis, they have been using that. Well, you know, candles. I'm, but this is what I was about to say. You know what I'm going up? Your favorite thing was candles. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I never use it. No, you, no, no, when <laughs> I went to the drugstore, she said, give me six. <laughs> At that time, Karate cut off. Karate cut off. Karate cut off. Karate cut off. And you see? And, uh, well, carrots is another. Carrots is another popular. <laughs> Which one do you use? Lovely. You don't make a salad? So you don't use vegetables for your salad? Yes. Well, right. That's what, I, that's what I'm asking. Oh, to have sex. Okay, okay, okay. But stop right there. What do you use? You know, so at one time, our family, you <laughs> say, my whole store. Um, so, okay, let's see. Imran, I know the price of the sorry. dolls because we have brought it for people mm -hmm. before. We're not here to talk price. We're here to talk about why people are no, well, they, well, they convulate our, our discussion. We're talking about one thing you bring in price. Nobody are buying anything. But you want somebody price? No. People bring in price. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the different types of dolls. Of mm -hmm. course, you know, when a person asks a price of something because they can't afford it. Mm -hmm. If you can afford it, you will ask prices. You give me that and you pay for it and you go away. Mm -hmm. Seriously, that's how I think about it. Right? If you're really interested in something, you'll buy it. The price does not matter. Whatever you want to get, you buy it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Full yeah. stop. Right? But we're not here to discuss price. No. We do we're here to talk about items. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it doesn't matter if it costs a thousand TT or ten thousand TT. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. There are persons who will come and order it and pay their money and, and get it. And there are others who will jib and say, boy, they will come and watch a, a plastic doll selling for, let's say, $200. So much? Well, go and bully $200. <laughs> I will tell you. <laughs> it's like you want something to eat. And it's expensive. Well, then don't buy it. No, I mean... Let it remain there and rot so the person will know to drop the price. Or if you really want it to eat, pay the price and go away. Yeah. Yeah. Simple. I just sell. I have a saying. I'm not going to eat the money, so I buy what I want to eat. If I can't afford it, I leave it. I don't need to do it. I I, I eat enough mangoes in my life not to buy a heap of mango for fifty dollars. Mm, no, seriously. No, yeah, yeah. I eat enough wild meat in my life to not even want to see wild meat again well, in my I life. Eat wild meat, so I can't really add to that. No, well, that's what I'm telling you. So I don't even want to see it now because I'm not going to pay $200 a pound for, for meat. 
for some ridiculous price. $200. Why have people ask for kind of ridiculous mm. thing? I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> because there's no way that I want that. And you see, if I do it, I'm encouraging the price. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the person who really wants it can't afford to pay that. Mm -hmm. So I leave it alone. Let it rot in your hand. Mm -hmm. You will know to drop your price. Take that call. Yeah. But yeah. when you talk about toys, you could get a toy. You could get a toy very cheap, you know. Mm -hmm. You could get a toy for less than $100. But as the Chinese say, good thing not cheap. No, and cheap no. thing not good. And then the quality of it will be not to that standard, right? And it's not going to last. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Because um, one of the other angels, she just mash up toys like, like mm -hmm. crazy. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> toys is it. To toys is it. Okay. Okay, that person must be No, she mash up toys. Mash up toys? Yeah. Don't for no toys are spoil. You can no battery run down. I, you remember battery. I told you about this girl who would actually squeeze a vibrator with her vagina until it spoils? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've seen that done. Yeah. She would tighten her vagina with this thing vibrating in her vagina, and you're talking about a brand new battery, mm -hmm. and after a while, the battery's like. Oh, so in other words, what she did was kill the bunny. She kill it. <laughs> And she used to do that for fun. Oh, wow. She would do it for fun because she will tighten on that device mm -hmm. as much as it's vibrating. And, and people will be looking on and she's like, and all of a sudden the, vib the vibration starts to die down. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Battery get run down. Yeah. She has, I have seen her spoil toys mm -hmm. like that. But that was her forte. She loved doing that. Mm -hmm. She could use her vagina for that. Mm -hmm. But if you want a good quality something, you you have to pay the money for something of quality. Yeah, well, of course, you, well, well, of course, you would have to. But like everything else, your toy have to be maintained. You know, mm -hmm. there are persons who will buy a toy and will not spend the extra money to buy a toy cleaner. No, toy cleaner works in many different ways. It's antiseptic and anti antibacterial. Mm -hmm. So once you have cleaned your toy and sprayed with that, you could put away your toy. You use something called cornstarch. Mm -hmm. That's a powder that you can get anywhere. Use that, you rub it over the, the you place it over the, the product, you, you wrap it in something safe because you don't want no cockroach and then running it in the drawer. And then you put it in a sock, a old sock or something, and then put it away. So it's safe. You don't have to go and buy no special bag and all these things. You know. some, some toys just come in a nice velvet bag. Yeah. A nice velvet bag, and it comes in that. That's, that's to store it. That's what it is for. The bag is not to take out and then go and put your change and walk around with your change and take it in a bag. You know. That bag is to store your item. But the cornstarch is important and the toy cleaner is important. Mm -hmm. And when you're going to use it, you do the reverse. Mm -hmm. Okay. But of course, in the heat of the moment, yeah, yeah, so let's say, for example, you get really turned on and you want to use a toy. <coughs> you're not going to stop to wash it and clean. That's why if you have a toy cleaner nearby, you just spray it and wipe it off and you're ready to use it. But these things, uh, these sprays, that we're speaking about, you can get them at the adult therapy adult center, of course. Center. Total image has everything, we carry everything. How do you come to total image? Are all the lubrication that mm -hmm. you'll need to use your toy, yeah. all the sprays that you'll need, the different type of sprays, the things for the vagina, the coochie cream to shave the vagina, mm -hmm. those who want to do that to prevent black um, darkening of the area. There's um, the pink, all the different pink creams to apply to the, the dark areas of your body. We have it, we carry it. Mm. That's good to know. Mm. Because it's not only about sex toys. No. Mm. Anyway, folks, taking more time, it's 11 o'clock in Trinidad and Tobago. Sex Explosion on Power on the 2.1 FM every Wednesday and Friday evening from 9 p.m. with your host, Dr. Raj Mandana. And our lines are open for those of you who would love to interact with him right now. Mm -hmm. 2228255, also at 6128255. If you are sending in a WhatsApp or a text message, you can also do that on his private mobile, 7401961. You're listening to a program that's informative, educational, and of course entertaining exclusively on Power on the Two. You'll, you'll like this one. Mm. Doctor, Doctor, what can cause stinkage of the penis? I think it means shrinkage. <laughs> Stinking. When you Stinkage. Don't you said stinking. You don't bid. He didn't say stinking. He <laughs> said stinkage. No, no, no. Anybody? Mm -hmm. But I think he means shrinkage. Shrinking, yeah. But just in case he means stinkage. <laughs> bid. Make sure you bid yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. wash the area. And if you use a wipe, yeah. 
Yeah. Just in case he means that. Yeah. And make sure you clean the penis when you wake up. Yeah. And throw it. Well, I'm going to the shrinkage faster. <laughs> the shrinkage could be caused by phimosis of the penis. Yeah. Um, if you fracture the penis, if you have andropause, mm -hmm. aging, and lack of use. You mm. can fracture. A penis, of course. Yeah. Well, very painful, yeah. very. Um, How do you know if it's fractured? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it won't get an erection if it's fractured? You could get an erection, but it will be very painful and it will bend towards the weaker side. Mm -hmm. When a penis is fractured, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, in some countries like Iraq and those places, they used to teach women how to break a penis. And there are many men where they're having sex, they'll hear that popping sound or they'll feel that intense pain and don't realize they just fractured the penis. How, how do you break the penis? Junior! Can I learn? Can... Anybody can learn how to break a penis. Anybody can learn how to break a penis. Uh, like maybe, fractured. Uh, let me take a break. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Take a break. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, folks, take a break. Five minutes after 11 o'clock, we will be right back. Stay tuned. <laughs> They're good, yeah? They say to them, they break up. They're really good. <laughs> Depending on the position is how you um, twist your waist. Not an easy thing to do. It depends on the man too, eh? Depends on the man too, eh? But that's a very painful thing. Yeah, when you think you're coming, you're going. Somebody wants to know what the angel likes. Tell him ice cream. Somebody wants to know. Now, I hope you can pick up on the, what I'm saying. Somebody wants to know what the angel likes. Well, she's directing it to you. So I hope you pick up. She, I think I know who is she. Right. So she wants to know what you like, so you better tell her. Rishi, I know it's a typo error, but we have gotten fun from it. Rishi says shrinkage. <laughs> I could what? Type it to her? I don't want to type it to her. She wants to hear. She's viewing right now. Or oh, you want to type it to her? <laughs> yeah, yeah, type it to her. You can also tell she what you like, like her to do. You know when you send that, if she will go, and make sure you put your name at the end, eh? Yeah, okay. Next thing you know, she feel I sending it to her. You know you'll send a woman crazy, you know? I don't know what's the point. Do, 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 do. Exchange, you know, something. I just take back too much of that, thing. Seriously. Yeah, maybe we we'll wake up on four. <laughs> you going to kill that woman? Here, yeah, chat with her, chat with her, chat with her. Give her a little more. Please. Good, good, good. The reason for that is I let it cool. Actually, what she wanted to do to you. <laughs> oh, God, he... Squeeze it, squeeze it. He's on the edges. No, no, what, um, anything more than two shakes is a job. Anything more than two shakes. 
On behalf of the management and staff, we would like to present you with a brand new First cover. time finish. What from the guy not go up the road? I don't want anything. Why Why you think I want something to go up the road? No, I told you to take a cup. Finish. When are you going up? No. No, because I hear something. You never. Okay. I told you to take a little thing. Lord have mercy. The truth shall set you free. Take a little thing. Take a little thing, you say, no? Glad you saw it. Yes, please. <laughs> I take back the phone, girl. <laughs> You heard it from the horse's mouth, eh? Not from my mouth. Okay, Howard, I'll talk about that. Just hold on. Is that how they call it in Aruba? Howard, is that how they call it in Aruba? I like that word. <laughs> is... What show did? It was me talking in tongues here. Like, I, I, I try to keep up with our three or four different conversations. You know. Is is now sending me a message here. Sure did. Okay, what is that about? <clears throat> well, I could definitely tell you that there's always more to explore in sex education when you are on the inside.